Bring it. Dad, can you do it? Can you get Kay in the barn for him? No. Uh, look, I I'm sorry, but we can't let this man blackmail us. I I'm not going to do what he says. Do you think we're the first people to be extorted like this? That we just need to contact the police and tell them about Kane's threat? Oh, stop saying we. It's not we, is it? It's me alone in the cell with a guy that's going to kill me if I don't take him seriously. I know how this works, OK? If it's a burner phone today, it could be drugs tomorrow, a weapon next week. If you don't do what he says, I won't be here next week. I know you're scared. I know he seems like a powerful man, but he's just a two-bit thug and... What? You're the great James Nightingale. Why do you always have to be the smartest guy in the room? That's not what this is about. He says you set him up. Is that true? He's just an ex-client holding a grudge. It comes with the territory. And we get an out. Is that part of the job, too? Dad, you've got to get that bar for him or else I'm... Remy? Are you still there? I'm afraid you're both out of time, James. Kane, put my son back on. If you ever want to hear Romeo's voice again, you know what you've got to do. You remember the threat I made about your daughter? If you think I was bluffing, I wasn't. Right, yeah, here we are. Neither of us bluffing, both all in. The only difference is I can get to your kid a whole lot quicker than you can get to mine. The clock's ticking, James. Okay, no, no, wait, look, I, I want to speak to Romeo. Put my son back on. James? Is Romeo OK? I don't understand. You said... You said this guy called you personally and said that if you don't bring a burner phone, he's going to hurt Romeo. Why you? How does he even know who you are? Why do people like that do anything? He's just some deranged opportunist who happens to have been put in a cell with Romeo. Well, Romeo must have talked too much something. I don't know. I really don't need this today. Got my work review in a few hours. I could lose my job. Then go. This is my problem. I'll deal with it. James, you said it yourself. You have no idea how you're going to get that phone into prison. Mum! Hi, my darling. Here he is it true that your mum and Joe broke up because he's back with Cleo? Just because I've heard on the wires of Hollyoaks group chat that Cleo's with Joe's brother now. And I heard you should be paying more attention to your own relationship, Tom. Right, OK. Let's we'll see how it is. Pleasure as always. Come on, Steph. Let's let him bully James instead. I mean, why is he on the wives of Hollyoaks group chat anyway? What if I go visit Romeo instead with the burner phone? Perry, it's not that simple. They search you on the way in. Yeah, I am. Um... I think I have a way around that. You need to understand that smuggling things into prison is a serious offence. You could end up in a cell yourself. You said Romeo's life's at risk, right? Yeah. James, I can't do nothing. Please, just get me into that visiting room and I'll do the rest, OK? Oh, hi, mate. Yeah, can I please have a taxi from Hollyoaks Village to Longmere Prison, please? Yeah, thanks, cheers. Right, babe. Do you want to play a game? Right. Did you see this? I need you to hold on to it and hide it for me, but it's really important no one can find it, okay? It's our secret. It's rare for Perry to be late, but she's had a lot on lately. She and my daughter are. There she is. Better late than never. James Nightingale, what are you doing here? Uh, I will be representing Perry Lomax, hereafter referred to as. My client. OK. And will your client be joining us? Unfortunately, she's unwell. But she has given me full licence to act in her stead and defend her from these, frankly, ludicrous charges. Right. Would you like some tea and biscuits? Was that a bribe, Doctor? No. Just my little joke? Uh, no, thank you. I'm still carrying a little holiday weight. <clears throat> Look. I'm sure you've got more important or maybe more appropriate places to be, so why don't we just postpone this until Perry can... No, no, not at all. I made a promise to my client, and I intend to honour that promise. Shall we? You better hope Daddy comes through, mate. Right. Hey. Okay. 
Kane rearranged a visit. He said that Dad was... Change of plan. As in, he didn't have one and I did, so... Is he here? His cellmate that's been threatening you. I hate to ask. Have you bought it? The barn of one? On the, on the sites on the way in? They did, but we got through. Hello, Steph. Thank you so much for coming to visit me. I feel honoured. It's OK. We're going for a burger after. Oh, no way. I would offer you some food here, but between me and you, it's pretty rubbish. I also told her about the game we're playing. Could keep your present nice and secret for you. Wait, Steph's got the phone. Home of the year, right? Where'd you get it from? The phone. Romeo, I'm a bit busy right now. Can you just save the questions for later, please? Oh, yeah. Sorry. Why does Romeo even need a phone? Shh! Because I need to speak to your mum, don't I? I love someone going to tell her how much I love her. Remember, it's our secret, yeah? He'd used it when he was dealing. What do we do now? Yeah. Under the table. Oh. It, it, it's not my thing. Can you come with me, please? Where's my phone? I, I told him to do it, all right? Did you hear me? I told him to do it! It's my phone! I'm, so, I'm sorry, Romeo. Make sure you click here to watch full Hollyoaks episodes right here on YouTube or click here to catch up on all the drama in the village and don't forget to subscribe to keep up to date with everything Hollyoaks.